again, this <laughs> was one, one of the shows where I need another episode because I can't just have it end like this. <laughs> Every time that the, <laughs> when I see these, uh, now I don't know who's in what grades. Now, like when they were doing like the flashback to elementary schoolers, and you you basically see these guys like in a park, like smoking and stuff. I just assumed they were all like, elementary school students too, <laughs> or even middle school, and they legit look like they were in their thirties, thirty five years old. <laughs> uh, and, and it's just I, those scenes, I just can't take. I just keep laughing. I can't take serious. <laughs> Uh, but because oh. it's like I, I know it's like an anime thing to make like the bullies in a sense look older, but, but it's this, just like they're well, overdoing it. This <laughs> show takes it to like yeah, this show takes it like to the yeah. next level of like how old these these fucking middle school and high school kids look. God, and it makes it feel like this like the the person started writing it in elementary school, and then they just thought like that was like their uh like what they they pictured like middle schoolers look like these uh these uh, these badasses drive around on motorcycles and smoking. <laughs> Also, uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize that Draken's first name was Ken. I don't know why like that passed by me, but his first, I didn't realize his first name was Ken. His last name's like Vu, G, Q, whatever, which means Dragon. So now the whole like Draken mm -hmm. makes so much sense. I don't know why it took me till now to just realize that when they had to go to his full backstory. So, so that took me a while. How many here? How many here are gonna send their elementary school kid to uh, the? Uh... Tattoo artist tattoo parlor. Or parlor. Well, well, I mean, they kind of explained how, like, he doesn't really have any, like, parents. That is true. You know, yeah. he lives at this, you the know, brothel, district. essentially, well, the yeah. massage parlor. <laughs> I like how so. when he just, he, like, just walks in there, and the tattoo guy, like, doesn't even think, like, this is weird. He's just like, what do you want? There's like, fuck it, man. <laughs> you got money? I take money. Like, it kind of is just like that. Yeah. I thought that was, uh, but still, like, Draken's, like, my favorite character in this show. Um... Uh, I, I, again, it was like towards the end of it when like that entire like group kind of comes in with like their badass white jackets and their motorcycles and stuff. Again, what great are they supposed to be high schoolers? Well, I think th high so schoolers. this gang's two generations so. older because they explained that in last week's episode. Mm -hmm. Oh god, I don't remember. Yeah, so, no, they're they're wait. definitely like the the more mature gang in a sense. But, yeah, they're either uh, like late high okay. school or are they are they mature if they're picking up middle schoolers? <laughs> I mean, you know, fuck it, they, sure. they're, they're going down. It's this gang level. war, baby. They just want the. Yeah. They just want the turf. You know? I mean, I don't know. There, there's a lot of like just it's parts. Not, with it's this not stuff, much but... more grandiose than that. It's just, hey, <laughs> we're living our life our way. Oh, you don't live your life our way. We're gonna have mm. a problem. And you know, the only way they know how to solve these things is through yeah. violence. Let's beat out these kids. Um, <laughs> hey, I mean, at least they don't have guns, right? So they're kind of yeah. Right, that'd be a quick, uh, a quick not, yeah. uh, resolution uh, to these fights. No, only, uh, only in America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or or um, if uh was it the, like weathering with you because the guns are everywhere oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. Oh. um <laughs> the thing for me is uh i actually stopped watching this on Crunchyroll um because oh, yeah. the other site that i use they pull from um i think it's amazon japan which is completely uncensored because i watched last Ooh. week's episode and exactly like what I said, there were a lot of awkward cuts from the censored version. And now watching mm. the uncensored version, everything like flows much better. And like you get a lot more of the interactions that make much more sense. And obviously the showing of the, the Manji symbol. Um, and oh, I think even in, in this week's episode, when they go into the warehouse, um, there's a lot of graffiti behind um, uh, Mikey and all of them. And one of the like, big graffitis is the Manji symbol again, because that's kind of like their turf. But then for if you're watching the censored version, I think they just do like an awkward pan to like somebody's face, like a zoom in so that it doesn't get shown. Mm. So maybe I'm definitely going to see more and more. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe I would actually like that more but if it actually felt like more of these gangs have their specific turfs because it just kind of feels like they're all hanging around in different spots or like like their little meetup. It just seemed like they were meeting up in a random warehouse. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what it felt like. I I might because I was wondering, too, Justin, like, is like what day is it like what, when he goes back to that warehouse and like they get like yeah, close ganged to the, up? The oh, that's a good I, point um i don't know if they gave any like reference of time but really. I, I imagine it must be obviously pretty close you know because okay. it's, just... it's not the day so no because that because then because then because then you were, were assuming then that dragon doesn't die in this fight but then like but then we still have then we still have the the big fight happening later so that's like so, uh, that's yeah, why. Right? That's and why like, knowing, we don't really know, know, like knowing the day is important because then we need this to help us predict like, what's gonna happen later. So yeah, and we don't know kind of what potential effects like Takamichi, you know, now trying to save things could have. They, like it still could end the same way. It could be that he said we don't know. 
So, well, okay. like if, if you look at it like from Vivi's point of view, right? Every time someone goes back in the past and they change something, it does kind of change the timeline regardless. So maybe by Takamichi always coming back, he's changed it to happen like earlier than it should have in history. Yeah, it's so, uh, it the, butter, a thing. the butterfly effect, essentially. Yeah, unfortunately. You change one little thing and that causes, you know, a whole network of things to also change. Yeah, that makes sense too. I just, I want to say I miss Hina. She wasn't in this episode. <laughs> uh, that's enough. So I need yeah, more work. I'm okay with Draken backstory. That's fine. Yeah, like, not gonna lie, I'm really surprised of how Draken grew up to be such an outstanding guy when apparently know, his, house was, his house was a brothel. <laughs> like, I just can't, like, get it out of my head how this is such an upstanding guy after, like, the way he grew up. So, yeah. It seemed like uh, was it uh, is it Mikey? It seemed like Mikey was the one that kind of like sh- like sh- uh, showed him. Uh, I don't know he... because we keep the last episode we shot saw the dragon's one that keeps Mikey in check. So I don't know. Mikey yeah. seems the one that's more naive than anything. Mikey's definitely stronger, but he's not like mature uh, in the mental sense. So I, I did like when Mikey just walked in for like when elementary school, <laughs> just, uh, just like just the way he's talking. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's it is pretty weird how like this this runt is like the badass and like the leader of the stuff Mandri gang, but it's whatever it's mm. anime. I thought like, I yeah. thought I just thought it was pretty funny. It's one of those things you got to run with. And yeah. I just, I thought it was pretty funny seeing um the the leader of Mobius like seeing his future and then go back in the past and he's like this cocky ass high schooler. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. I, I didn't realize uh they probably have it for like a lot of other people when they have a. Like... They show when they show like a new ca- uh, new person, and they show like, oh, he's like the commander and stuff. I just immediately think mm-hmm. of like Witch or something, where they just say like, uh... <laughs> and again, it's I just find it funny. <laughs> they give those those grandiose entrances. Yes, yes. You mm-hmm. know, lieutenant and Captain Mobius Gang, yada yada yeah. yada. Ninth grade. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm in high school. That's Mister. It's, it's these things where it's like you. you know, they're such like a badass like violent environment but then it you know obviously mixes that that comedic aspect in very well to its own credit i think yeah Uh, keeps it lighthearted in a weird way (laughs) yeah oh man but anyway i got i I want to see i i want to know how they're going to get out of this because like still to my point from last week's episode i don't know why takamichi is just going there with no game plan he he can't fight, and he has to beg for, like, the Manji gang to not fight. And the only one that kind of, like, backs him up on this is Draken. And it's like, you know, you're you're given such an awesome opportunity to go into, to go to the future, plan things out, and then come back. He could have easily prepared for this in a much better way. Yeah. Like, I don't see why he's kind of just, like, uh, he's just going through with no plan, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or, or if he does have a, or if he does have a plan, it's very shallow and it's very one dimensional. And then the yeah. once that like doesn't yeah. work, where it's it's never worked, then it's just like mm-hmm. it's just like oh shit moment, time to kind of right. basically just wing it. Like, like last week's episode, where he's like, oh, I just need to be the bodyguard for Draken and Mikey. Oh yeah, like, easy. Yeah, I was like, oh, maybe easy. Bring like a gun or something. You know, do <laughs> well. I mean, he can't bring a gun back to the past in that sense, but have some you know method of an idea of what you're gonna do rather than just run up and be like, hey guys, don't do this. Yeah, and then it's just like it's like Ralph. It's like he chuckles and he's like, "Oh, I'm in danger!" Like, "Oh fuck!" Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's like earlier in in the show, like he like he keeps being naive and keeps thinking like like, "Oh, it's fine, everything will work out." Like when he tells like Naruto, mm-hmm. like, "Oh, there's no way that Mikey and Draken can fight." Like that's gotta be wrong. Like I don't know. I feel like mm-hmm. he needs to be he needs to be more open to these other possibilities. Seems like he's he's just assuming a lot of things or being naive. And then also this episode too, we saw how like. How um, even when he was begging, like, and Draken um si- tried to, uh, try to hear him out, and that kind of caused a rift between him and and Mikey, right? Just a little bit right there. And it's like, like so, mm-hmm. so he's assuming that they're not gonna fight, but like right there, he could he could just been the one that started the the rift too. So yeah. it's like, I don't know. It's just, you know so so time travel is a fickle bitch. Well, it's more mm-hmm. like I think it's more just like on his character, like 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 who is saying. It's like I don't know why he's. He's so like headstrong and these type of things when he's not a strong character or he's not like strong himself. Mm. So like, yeah. So I'm curious yeah. to see how they got to get out of this. If like if they even got to get out at all, or this just makes like the, the Modius fight on August third even worse. So 
I feel see. like they'll be fine just we'll because see. Mikey's there. I think Mikey is definitely like he's more than capable of taking out all those guys. You think so? I mean, from what I've seen, Mikey is just yeah. an invisible kid, so yeah, uh, it wouldn't surprise well, me to be honest. The thing is, like, if he takes him out I mean, there, then what's the fight on? What's what's like the point of the fight on the third? Because then what's no, that's that's what I'm saying. Because of the butterfly effect, right? It's changed everything. So oh, you're by saying this it's happening, happen. it's just not going to happen at all, right? Oh, like okay. this is going to be that fight, right? Yeah. And maybe instead of a dragon dying, it's going to be like Mikey gets super pissed and he goes overboard and he ends up leader of the Mobius gang instead. Like, Dude, maybe know, maybe that's the change or something. Maybe. Right? If my, yeah. If if Mikey takes out that entire army, uh, I mean. <laughs> I mean, this is the elementary yeah, school who was able to take out a high schooler back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd only imagine that Mikey would only get stronger, right? Yeah. So, to I, mean, fair, I don't know. That's just all speculation. Mikey in yeah. the past was the only one that, who had it right. You know, he was the only one that was actually uh, eating a lollipop instead of smoking. Yeah, see? There you go. Maybe it's the power of la- not smoking. <laughs> Maybe that's the message here, boys. Don't smoke and don't be a gangster. Otherwise, you're going to grow up to be a loser. But if you eat lollipops... Oh, subliminal messages. <laughs> right? yeah. But if you eat lollipops and eat kitty meals with a flag in the middle, that's yeah. what makes you strong. Oh, and, and, you, and you need the dragon tattoo as well. Uh, yeah. No, uh, I guess, yeah. yeah. yeah in dragon's sure. case. Yes. But anyway, but, I'm, yeah. I'm done. I'm good. That's all I got.